All right, we're back with part two of our book. Part two. Oh, uh, wait, wait, first we got a recent development that happened with Avery while we were taking a break. Avery's got stickers. Uh-oh. I bet you guys like stickers, too. Anyways, we're back to our book. Fish out of water. <laughs> Avery's excited to get back going. Benny, are you excited? Here's Benny. Alright. So we left off. Hi! We left off with him in the bathtub. We left off with him in the bathtub. Hi! Avery, do you think this is going to be big enough? Is Did he find the answer? No! No! So he fed his fish, how much of the food? Oh, all of it. He fed his fish all the food. Can you guys show me how much he was supposed to feed the fish? A tiny. So show the camera. A tiny. A tiny. A tiny. Back up, a tiny bit. Tiny up, bit. A tiny bit. Okay. A tiny bit. Okay, let's Okay, you're supposed to feed him a tiny Not bit. This much. This it says, at last, there, Otto, I said, this tub holds my father, this tub holds my mother, so it will hold you. But the tub did not hold him at all. He went right on growing. Oh, Otto, I said, what can I do now? Oh, jeez. You guys look. Avery, what's happening in there? What does it look like? The top flood. It's a flood. Ready? Flood. What do you think? Would mom be happy if we did that to our bathroom? No. No. She would not let us do paddle boarding. Oh man, what's what's gonna happen next? I don't know. See, he's gonna go in. He's gonna. Oh go man, next this. page. Oh, that's the front. Of, that's the front cover of the book, right? But with what? It looks like the door bust open, and he went flooding what? down the stairs. With the... Oh man! It says, "Then crash, the door went down. Crash, Otto went down, and I went down too. Oh, what a ride!" I got my. Okay, next page. Next page. Oh, oh he's got a phone. There goes a the fish out the door. Hello, Ready? I'm a foot. Let's read it. Hello, I'm a foot. Come on, come sit down. Hello, right. I'm a foot. Down went the water into the cellar. Down. And down went Otto, too. I had to do something fast. I grabbed the phone. Hey, sit down, okay? All right. You grab the phone. Come. Next page. Policeman. Policeman. He's calling the police for help, it looks like. I called the policeman. Help, help, I said. I fed my fish too much. Mr. Carp told me not to, but I did. What? said the policeman. Mr. Carp told you not to, but you did? Too bad. I will come at once. Next page. Police officer's there. He's wading through the water. Help the kids up. Look, the kid's pointing. It's just this way. The policeman came. My fish went that way, I said. He is down in the cellar. Hey, come sit. Come sit, baby. Hey, baby. Come sit, okay? Thank you, baby. The policeman ran down with me. What a fish, he said. He is much too big to keep in a cellar. We will have to get him out. We have to get it out. You, look, wait, so he's got a net. What do you think? Do you think that net's going to be big enough, Ben? No. I don't think that net's going to be big enough. Yes. How are they going to get him out of the cellar? I don't know. He's going to open the door. Next page. Open the door. Hey, will you back up, please? Oh, they're pushing them out. They're going to need some muscle. That's a big fish. All right. We had to work and work to get Otto out. 
Poor Otto. Oh, why did I feed him too much? Mr. Carp told me something would happen, and it did. It did. Should have fed him so much. Just a pinch, you guys. Next page. They got him out. There's the police car. Now we had Otto out of the cellar, but now Otto had no water. No water at all. A fish has to have water, I said to the policeman. We must take him to water. Get help. Call for help on the radio. What is it? Can a fish breathe out of water? No. Avery, can it, what, does the fish need water to breathe? So this fish is not in the water. He cannot breathe. They need to find him water. Why? The, he's gonna go into the pool. Oh, baby, don't spoil the book. Don't spoil the book. The policeman called on the radio. He called for the fireman. Help, help, he said. A boy has fed a fish too much. A boy has fed a fish too much? We will come at once. We'll come at once. There's the policeman and the fireman talking. The fireman's on his way. Can you make a siren noise? He's on his way. Oh, next page. Fire. Fire truck is here. Firemen are there. They got him hooked up. The firemen came. They all helped to get Otto up. But where can we take him, I asked. Uptown? Downtown? Jackson, what's that? What's that, Jackson? Fire truck. A fire truck? What's this big thing right here? Fish. A fish? Good job, buddy. A big fish. Big fish. All right. Next page. Oh, they got wheels on him. Jackie, back up. They got wheels on him. Uh-oh, look at his eyes. He needs water. They're hurrying, though. There they go. So, to the pool, yelled the fireman. To the pool, I yelled. And please hurry. To the pool, I want. They did hurry. The fire truck with Otto came right up to the pool. The fireman yelled, Everyone, get out of the pool! The fish is going in! It's a page. <laughs> People are gotta get out of the pool. The fish is coming in. Get out of the way, guys! Giant fish! Oh, oh, oh. fish! <laughs> Jackson's excited. Watch out, Jackie. Next page. Down into the pool with Otto. Into the pool with a big splash. Alex. Now I was happy. Alex. Now at last my Otto had water. Lots of water. This big pool was just the thing. This big pool would hold him. Splash. Look at that splash. Holy cow. They did it. They said this big pool would hold him. Alex. Is he going to live there forever? What's going to happen? Oh, next page though. Next page. I can see the next page. Is the pool gonna hold him, guys? No. No way. It says, but Otto went right on growing, and no one wanted Otto in the pool. They did not like Otto at all. You can take that fish out of here. They yelled. Look. They're all pointing at the kiddo to get that fish out of here. You. Oh man, they took the pool. Mine! Hey, back up, please. There was just one thing to do. I did it. I ran to the phone. I called Mr. Carp. Please, please help me, I said. I fed Otto too much. Oh dear, said Mr. Carp. So you fed him too much. I knew you would. I always say, don't, but you boys always do. Yes, I will come. So he called the, the pet store, and he's talking to the guy who sold him the fish. 